Andrew, it's mostly the north and west missing out. Uh, yes, Pete. Trains on the Frankston and Dandenong lines run every 10 minutes virtually all day. But that's a luxury not afforded to any of the lines serving Melbourne's booming north and west. That means stations like this one, which data shows recorded a 15% increase in patronage last year, only have a train every 20 minutes outside of the peak. And while plans have been drawn up to introduce 10-minute trains across virtually the entire network as an all-day service, for now, the government seems prepared to keep commuters waiting. Six years ago, Williams Landing Station didn't exist. Now it's one of the busiest places on the network. Data obtained by Nine News shows it's used by 5,700 people every day, an increase of 11% in just 12 months. Particularly strong growth uh, that we've seen for a number of years now to, uh, to the north and to the west of the city. Not surprisingly, the city loop stations are Metro's busiest, with more than 92,000 people passing through the gates at Flinders Street each day. Footscray, South Yarra, Caulfield, Box Hill and Richmond round out the top ten. Sunshine is the 14th busiest station, but despite that, outside of peak hours, trains only run every 20 minutes. And it's very close to the city, so it doesn't really make sense. It's a similar story at Williams Landing, but contrast that with Patterson Station on the politically sensitive Frankston line. With just over 1,200 passengers a day, it boasts a train in each direction every 10 minutes. There's no logical reason for the train frequency dropping off to 20 or 30 minutes outside peak times. What's worse, many trains sit idle for much of the day. We know the trains run more frequently in peak hour, so they can run more frequently off peak too. Transport planners have presented the government with a proposal for 10 minute frequencies on all major trunk routes between 7am and 9pm seven days a week. You see traffic on the road right through the day, you should see frequent trains across the network right through the day as well. We're moving slowly towards a turn up and go system across our, our Metropolitan Rail network. But the government is yet to commit to any further frequency improvements. Andrew Lund, Nine News.